And they were like, huh, you did what now? Casey Renlin was entering her fourth year of medical school when the coronavirus pandemic began. She decided she'd help fight the virus. You knew all of your colleagues and your teachers were in the hospital. I mean, essentially treating patients with COVID and like you were sitting on your couch, like learning how to crochet. Casey volunteered for the Pfizer vaccine clinical trial. Her husband, Aaron, signed up with her. He's visited the vaccine clinic three times in recent months, and he has a follow-up appointment soon. So even, even getting there, you know, it was basically 45 minutes each way, and then the appointment was about three hours. They, they drew blood there. Uh, you had to take a, a COVID test, and then they actually gave you the dose. Then you had, to wait for the, you had to wait for it to warm up, I suppose. And then afterwards, you had to sit there after for about 30 minutes. Getting volunteers has not, has not been a problem. Chip Walter leads the Pfizer vaccine trials at the Duke Human Vaccine Institute. Walter says about 40,000 people are participating in the vaccine trials covering Pfizer, in addition to AstraZeneca and other drug companies. In total, five major vaccine trials are underway in the triangle. When you look at, um, you know, the severity and seriousness of the pandemic and uh, the number of, you know, deaths and mortality in this country, um, I think, you know, it's, it's a situation where people are really actually looking uh, for um, an opportunity to, to volunteer uh, uh, and join a study to kind of help, help uh, prevent COVID infection. Casey and Aaron say participating in the clinical trials was an easy decision. And as a medical student, I felt like I could understand kind of the data and the science for like the phase one and two trials that I had seen coming out and it seemed like it was safe enough. Chip Walters says the greatest public challenge isn't convincing people to take the COVID-19 vaccines, it's getting the vaccine to the people. Clearly right now the, the issue is getting it into the arms. We have enough vaccine. I think more will be manufactured. Um, but in order to vaccinate a large enough portion of the population, we're really going to probably need multiple multiple vaccines. Uh, and that's why you see so many different vaccines being evaluated. Okay. Aaron Cohen says the vaccine gave him a minor fever and some chills. His wife Casey received a placebo, but is now vaccinated against COVID-19. Casey says she saw enough in the hospital that helping vaccines gain approval is more important than ever. I don't want my family members or anyone that I know or love to have to go through that. And unfortunately, many people right now are having that happen. Um, so this was my way to help not only my future patients, but also our family and friends.